Hello, welcome to DevNet Innovator Series. This is Yogesh. I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco. I have with me Nirmesh Mehta from Gupshup. Welcome, Nirmesh. Uh, today, we're going to talk about bot revolution, how Gupshup is partnering with Cisco to integrate Cisco Spark and enable developers in creating those bots and also we'll touch base upon how DevNet is helping Gupshup in their journey to integrate Cisco Spark. Nirmesh, tell us about Gupshup and what use case you have implemented using Cisco Spark. Uh, thanks, Yogesh. Uh, hi, I'm Dharmesh. Uh, so basically, uh, Gupshup is a uh, platform for creating bots. So let me talk a little bit about bots first. Uh, basically, bots are programs which uh, interact via messaging. Uh, the reason why they're becoming, becoming very popular today is because you know messaging is huge. Uh, so if you look at uh, smartphone app usage, uh, it's sort of decreasing in terms of the number of apps that people are using. There's a lot of app fatigue. Uh, on the other hand, the top apps uh, which are messaging apps, they are becoming very popular and the usage is also constantly increasing. Basically what the users are telling us is that they like messaging as a medium. Uh, and bots is just a mechanism for programs to get onto that medium and interact with users and solve that problem. So popular messaging channels like Cisco Spark enable developers to connect with their users. And in order to do this, they've been opening up their APIs. And that's where Gupshap comes into the picture. So Gupshap has been making use of the Cisco Spark APIs to create a bot platform, which makes it easy for developers to build bots. Uh, I think that's a core value proposition. You know, Just make it easy for every developer to create bots as, as fast as they can. Awesome, that's fantastic. So you are providing a platform for developers. So it's kind of if you're providing a factory for the developers to create bots, they can go to Gupshap and open a Cisco Spark bot and do programming on that and create a bot. And then that bot can be for a sales team or that bot can be for a learning uh, program or a bot can be for an event like Cisco Live, the, where we are now. And uh, tell us about how ac exactly you have integrated Cisco Spark within the whole uh, Gupshap uh, uh, platform. Thanks, Yukesh. Yes, so basically bots have a lot of use cases, as you mentioned. Uh, we have a bot for uh, events, we have a bot for searching uh, words in our dictionary, we have bots for finding expense reports and so on. Uh, the way uh, we envisage uh, developers working on this is that they come onto the Gupsha platform, get started, create a Hello World bot in like one minute. And in order to do that, uh, we've created an architecture which makes it very easy for bots to work with us. So this is how we have integrated Cisco Spark. Uh, this is what uh, Cisco has opened up in terms of the APIs. There is a webhook to send messages which are sent by users to bots outside so that integration can happen. Uh, on the other hand, there are API calls so that the bot can send back messages to the users. Our platform has basically integrated with these Cisco APIs so that um, the platform can send and receive messages. Uh, on the hosting side, we have a hosting platform which sort of encapsulates the bot and provides it with a lot of functionality like analytics, logging, hosting, monitoring, and so on. Uh, together, these two pieces uh, give an integrated experience to the developers so that the bot code that they're writing is only their business logic. They don't need to worry about the technical details of how Cisco will connect with Gupshop, uh, how security will be taken care of, and all of that. Scalability is not an issue. Everything is handled by this platform here. Uh, so that's how uh, our architecture is, and that's how we integrate with Cisco Spark APIs. Awesome, that's, that's um, a very good approach. So for a developer uh, who is interested in developing a bot, they can just go to Gupshap and then uh, you know, create a bot and then start writing their uh, uh, algorithm or the logic without worrying about the infrastructure uh, to put in place. That's very good. Can you tell us about how DevNet helped you in your journey to integrate. So what all the things that you have learned from DevNet are extracted from DevNet to integrate Cisco Spark with your platform? Uh, so uh, I would like to sort of step back a little back into history uh, because messaging channels uh, are not very new. I mean, some of the oldest ones are more a decade, are over a decade old. Uh, so what, uh, 
happens is that these channels have legacy API that it is very difficult for people to integrate with these channels. Uh, we actually integrate with multiple channels and we faced a lot of problems with them. Uh, the good thing about Cisco Spark was that DevNet was one place where we got a lot of resources and we found it very easy to integrate these APIs onto our platform. Uh, I think uh, I would really recommend any developer if they really want to directly talk to Cisco Spark APIs to go to DevNet and get their work done. Though of course we're ho hoping that as far as creating bots is uh, concerned, they'll not need to do this and they'll be able to do it very quickly and efficiently on our platform. Awesome, thank you so much for the details. So developer can go to developer.cisco.com to learn, code, inspire, and connect. And if they want to learn about how to integrate Cisco Spark, want to know about Cisco Spark web, uh, web hooks, they can go to the learning labs. There are sandbox environment available on DevNet. They can get benefit out of that. Thank you so much, Nirmesh, for your time. It's really uh, great talking to you. Thanks a lot.